Welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, where today Siltanalia is on a um, a mission to root out some cultists. We're sort of hoping they're Sixth House cultists, not because we are particularly fond of them, but um, the uh, Sixth House and certain strange prophecies are kind of of interest to us at the moment um seems good to St. Dallin it might just be some Daedra worshippers which won't be so interesting but will be a bit nicer to uh <laughs> a bit easier to clear out or at least you know we're not gonna catch a uh, corpus or anything from just plain old Daedra worshippers. We'll see. It's underneath the St. Delin compound. That's all we know. So um, I need to get to the Waste Works, I think. Ninety-three enchant. Wow. It's not bad. Let's try and avoid avoid any ordinators. Alright, um, okay that looks promising. Let's go have a word with that intimidating looking or uh, orc. Is he an orc? No, he's a Nord. resistant to cold, isn't he? So I'll speak to him with a dagger. You know, we might not might not have to fight him, but you know, he's a heavily armoured Nord standing down in the sewers. I'm not expecting him to be the friendliest of characters. Uh, let's hop on over. Run while you still can, child. Yep. Okay, here we go. That's not even going to talk to us. Let's paralyze him. That didn't work. I would quite like you to be paralyzed. This is too easy. Ah. <laughs> I didn't cast it in time. Okay, he's a bit of a uh of a bastard. Do I have a light spell? I did make Quentin Tide. Right, was this the place? Uh, yeah, Ihini Pallet. It is. So it looks like Daedra worshippers, after all. Oh well. Heal up. I don't think I have any magic potions. Hopefully there's a mage in here and I can absorb some magic from them. What's the plan? Um, we'll go in, fire shield, and... Um, oh, I've got these scrolls that I was given for this. That was nice. So, yeah, we'll just do elemental. We'll just use them all. Elemental burst, uh, hellfire... Let's do Hellfire first. Okay. My victory weak. is at hand. Oh, sh ah. sugar. 
Um, that. Right. I just missed completely then, didn't I? Ah, Elmil's burst. I'll kill you. Drink a potion. Fortify luck. Yeah, sure. Another elemental burst. Grey death? Maybe. Fifth barrier. What else have I got here? Um, shock ball. Might do uh, Ilnia's breath on someone. Well, that didn't work. I feel like I could have hit more people with all of those scrolls if I was a bit smarter about it. Go away! Shadmund. Oh, that's the person I needed to kill. I could have just left these two then to their business, but uh, oh well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you could get a good enchantment on these robes. It's a bit of a, a bit of a strong look, but uh, and these shoes. Just chest of booze. Ooh, mystery chest. Some gold. Statue of Shirgorath. Do I want to speak to it? Tempted to. I'm not sure if this is a talky one. I think it might be. Uh, third barrier. Like that. Summon Flame Atronach. That's a big chest. With absolutely nothing of interest inside it. What a letdown. Oh. Exquisite skirt, capacity 60. Now that I could get a good enchantment on. I'm looking for something to do a constant effect enchantment on, and that's a high contender, that skirt. I'm considering having a word. I'm not going to take those. I know what's going to happen. Oh. What is it, mortal? Have you come to be of service to Shagarath? That in and of itself speaks toward your madness. This pleases me. Fetch the Fork of Horopolation from the Mad Hermit near Aldredania. Take care with him. He's not the most... stable man. Use the Fork wisely, mortal. Few have wielded it who have not come away changed. 
Use the fork to strike a death blow to the giant bull Netch that resides near the Hermit. Do this. Return the fork of Horopalation to me, and Shegaroth will reward you well. Well, there you go. We, um... Curiosity overcame us. Placed a hand on the statue and heard the voice of Shiagorath. It was tasked us with something... Odd. I'm not sure where Aldradania is. On an island off the northernmost points of Tamriel. Okay. Okay, we hear the voice of Shigorath. I'm not sure if we're going to... We're not going to drop everything and go do that. I'm just going to back out slowly and leave. Um, he seems to be willing to just let us leave and we don't seem to be... In any kind of pact. It's more of an offer, isn't it? So. Leave that there. Um, we might do that, though, if we. Are up that way. You never know. If we did do that, maybe we'd find out why those people were worshipping Shiogorath in the first place. Maybe. Maybe we should be a. Daedra worshipper rather than joining the uh, the tribunal but anyway for now we have killed the Daedra worshippers we can report back to uh, oh, I can just teleport can I I always do this oh, so far to scroll Report back to, what's his name? Endrin. I have cleansed the cult, yes. Yes, I heard Biardmund is dead and the dark cult has been cleansed from the shrine of a hinny palette. You have earned the respect of the ancestors. Please take this ancestral wisdom staff and my gratitude. Let's have a look at that then. Hey, cool. Oh, it's got like an ordinator's head on it. That's weird. Nice. I hmm, I like it, I think. How powerful is that? Well, we're not going to be killing anyone by hitting people with it, but... I can summon a ghost. That's nice, I suppose. Do you have any more duties? I have no more duties for you. Thank you for all you have done, Curate Siltanalia. Speak with Tulls, Valen, or Thara Rothaloth. Um, no, I don't. I don't want to. I've I've uh, spoken with Tulls, and uh, I have no interest in going to Mologmar. Thank you very much. And I can't get any more advancement. But I feel like... What's our rank? I feel like... Um, a curate is... A... Um, a respectable enough rank in the temple. I think I've achieved what I came here to do. Got loads of exquisite shoes on me. Right, okay, I am going to go back to the house and then prepare to head back on over to Mournhold and introduce ourselves to the... whatever that elf's name was at the temple who um, Baron Zaya suggested we speak with and maybe do some work for. 
undercover to learn some stuff, that kind of thing. Anyway, let's head home first. Books. Oh, I better sort out the library. Okay, now the library is all sorted out. You join me. Down, uh, we're down in the basement. At our secret research table, which we're keeping um, out of sight. Now, I've gone through the library and, I, uh, and I've gathered all the books of interest to us regarding um, the tribunal. Nerevar, the sixth house. These are some mm, weird mm, sixth house notes I found, which mention Dagothir and um, Nerevar and the Nerevarine. So we've got things to do with the Nerevarine prophecy, Nerevar himself, things to do with there's Vivek, uh, what's this over here? Those are stories um, which t mention. Vivek and Almalexia. Cosmos for a general overview of of uh, Nern and Oblivion and stuff. And we've got a handy little diagram there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And um, over here we have things which mention. Well, this is kind of a recent addition. What's, what's this talking about here? Why is this here? Yeah, so we have another link between the sixth house and Lorcan. And Lorcan and Shaw are one in the same. And so we have uh, books talking about who Lorcan is, because we don't really know. Sultan Elliot doesn't really know. Maybe some god or something. And um, the Five Songs of King Wolfharth mentions the Battle of Red Mountain, where Nerevar was. And um, mentions the Heart of Shaw. And as we know from this note, um, Lorcan and Shaw are one in the same. Somewhere, I think, in the Monomyth, it might mention... Um, it says somewhere in here it mentions Lorcan. Lorcan. Here we go. This creator tricks to test a deity. After the world is materialized, Lorcan is separated from his divine center, sometimes involuntary, and wanders the creation of the Et Arda. Interpretations of these events, and then we've got interpretations. So, what's relevant to us? Um, yeah, here we go. Um, finally, Trinimac, Oriel's greatest knight, knocked Lorcan down in front of his army and reached in with more than hands to take his heart. He was undone. The men dragged Lorcan's body away and swore blood vengeance on their heirs of Oriel for all time. But when Trinimac and Oriel tried to destroy the heart of Lorcan, it laughed at them. It said, This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. So Oriel fastened the thing to an arrow and let it fly long into the sea, where no aspect of the new world may ever find it. So, various references to... Um, A, uh, a heart, Lorcan, Lorcan's, there's a story about Lorcan's heart, um, and 
And here's a few interesting passages in this book uh, regarding Red Mountain, which is currently surrounded, we know, by Ghost Fence. And the source of the blight, the fifth song of King Wolfharth is sad. The survivors of the disaster came back under a red sky. That year is called Sun's Death. The Devil of Dagoth had tricked the Nords for the heart of Shaw. Now in that note it says Shaw is Lorcan. The heart of Shaw was not in the Eastern Kingdoms and had never been there at all. As soon as Shaw's army had got to Red Mountain, all the devils and dwarves fell upon them. The sorcerers lifted the mountain and threw it onto Shaw, trapping him underneath Red Mountain until the end of time. Interesting stuff, let's skip through a little bit. The truth at Red Mountain, the heart of Shaw was in Resdane. That's uh, the old term for Morrowind. As Dagoth Ur had promised. Um, Dagoth Ur said that the tribunal had betrayed their king's trust. That they sent Dagoth Ur to Lorcan, for that is what they called Shaw in Resdane. So that the gods might wreak vengeance on the dwarves for their hubris. Don't really know what that means. That Nerevar's peace with the Dwemer would be the ruin of the Velothi Way. Don't know, but interesting. Um, let's skip through a little bit. Talking a lot about Dagothir, the Tribunal, conflict with the Dwarves. The Doom Drum. Nerevar carried Keening, a dagger made of the sound of the shadow of the moons. His champions were Dumak Dwarf King, who carried a hammer of divine mass, and Alandro Sul, who was the immortal son of Azura and wore the Wraith Mail. They met Lorcan at the last battle of Red Mountain. Lorcan had his heart again, but he had long been from it, and he needed time. Wolfharth met Sul, but could not strike him, and he fell from grievous wounds, but not before shouting Sul blind. Dagothur met Dumak and slew him, but not before Sunder. Sunder, the name of a hammer of divine mass, it seems, but not before Sunder struck his lord's heart. Nerevar turned away from Lorcan and struck down Dagoth Ur in a rage, but he took a mortal wound from Lorcan in turn. But Nerevar feigned the death that was coming early, and so struck Lorcan with surprise on his side. The heart had been made solid by Sunder's tuning blow, and Keening could now cut it out. And it was cut out and Lorcan was defeated and the whole ordeal was thought over. Not much idea what that's about. Now, Siltanelia doesn't really know a lot of these names or what what is being talked about here, but there's um something happened at Red Mountain. What was that? Nothing. You're being paranoid. Let's, let's pause the game. Something happened. We can surmise something happened at Red Mountain. Something to do with Lorcan. Something to do with a heart. Is the heart? A term for the person, Lorcan, is... I don't know. Seems to be interchangeable there. Um, Dagothur is there. Not much information about what Sothasil or Almalexia are doing at the time. Maybe there would be if we went through some more books. don't know, so we are probably wondering what happened down there underneath Red Mountain and um, what what is there now? 
Now the Nerevarine prophecy we know is the prophecy that Lord Nerevar would be would return, reincarnated in uh, another's body. We don't know much about the prophecy though, we just know that there's been a few um, people claiming to be the Nerevarine. Recently there's been a lot of that happening. Um, probably some more we can go through here, but I'm not going to go through everything right now. Nerevar, Moon and Star. Um, but it is said that Nerevar will come again with his ring. Don't know what that is. And cast down the false gods. And by the power of his ring will make good his promises to the tribes. To honour the spirits and drive the outlanders from the outsiders from the land. So this is Ashlander legend. Oh, here's something interesting. In um, This is in Vivek and Mephala. For example, one of the most striking persistent myths associated with Vivek is the story that Vivek conspired with his co-rulers Almalexia and Sotha Sil in the murder of Lord Nerevar the greatest of Dunmer heroes and generals. The story is der derived from Ashlander oral tradition and is flatly contradicted by all temple traditions. Nonetheless, the tale is firmly established in the Dunmer imagination. As if to say, of course Vivek would never have conspired to, mur to murder Lord Nerevar, but it happened so long ago. Who can know the truth? Interesting. So there's some... There's, there's... Contradicting evidence as to what happens at Red Mountain. And there's no clear answer to what is happening there right now. Or what, what is... What is at Red Mountain? We don't know. We don't know. Now, maybe we could glean some more insight from reading about the tribunal next. So I've gathered, gathered some things about Almalexia, mentions the um, tribunal in those, and we could gather all of the 36 lessons of Vivek and see if there's something in those, but I think I will leave. I don't have many copies. I don't have many um, sermons of this at the moment. And I think I'll leave that next stage of research for another day. But right now, I'm pretty much ready to head back to Mournhold. We're going to go back to uh, back to catch up with Belial and grab all of our decent gear, which we've been missing for quite a long time now. Anyway, I'm just going to check that there's nothing else here that I want to bring with me, and then I will uh, I'll see you when we uh, leave. I don't know if this is going to be um, maybe a mid-montage break. So I don't know if I've included it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing a load of stuff. It might be in the video. I might just cut it all out. But I've just leveled up. I've been doing a lot of training. Um, I decided to get my alchemy up to 50 so I can start seeing the third effect of ingredients because that was annoying me not being able to see that. And while I was at it, I did some heavy armor training to give us a boost to our endurance, which uh, we uh, we really could use at this point. Uh, we're getting in a lot of fights and we're not very hardy, so that should help. So we've got a times one, a times four. And then where else do we want to put it? Um, gosh, my strength is a lot higher than I thought it was. That's pretty good. Let's get that in agility. 
I think so. We're level 24. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps, but you know you've earned every ounce of your success. Pretty sure that's the same message I get every time I level up now. Never mind. Anyway, back to um, my preparations. I'm buying shed loads of ingredients to make a load of potions to take with me to Mournhold. So I'm going to get back to that. Let me relieve you of the burden of your coin. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm really grateful of that. Right, I have um, had to leave my vampire dust out here. She didn't like it. I have purchased a shed load of ingredients. I'm going to do some major alchemy now. Um, I haven't carried this much stuff in a long time. I'm really slow with it all. Oh, I feel really heavy. Right, I'm going to go through... All my stuff in here as well. I'm going to make a load of really interesting, useful potions to take with me. And um, then what else do I need to do? I think I've just got my swords here, maybe some weapons. And then we're going to Mournhold. But um, I won't bore you with this. I think this is going to take a while. Right. Ooh, okay, I think. I think I'm done with my alchemy. Let's have a look at my spoils. That was pretty good. Um, okay, let's just go through the highlights. <laughs> I have no idea what I've made, really. I haven't checked on how good these are, but... Stuff like that's pretty good. One minute, fortify agility, 30 points, and fire shield, 30 points, not bad. Could stack those, I've got some better ones there. I must have um, increased my alchemy a couple of points by the time I made these. 43 points for more than a minute. They're not bad at all, I take a couple of those and they should stack, I think. That's a weird potion, um, let's unpack that. Fortify health, 60 points. That's pretty good for me, that's 150% health. That's for two minutes. Um, fortifies my strength as well by 40 points, that's very good. Spell absorption, can't hurt, and restores my magic a little bit. <laughs> really, really small bit. Restore magic. That is called fortify health and it restores my magic. Well, that's pretty much useless, I might as well drink that. Fortify Intelligence and Strength. I think I had that already, didn't I? I already made that. Fortify Magic. They're, they're quite handy for me. If I'm completely out of magic, I can have one of those and cast um, a couple of spells, like Recall or something. Or I could drink them all and have loads of magic. Same again. Fortify Strength for a minute. Strength and Spell Absorption. Not bad. Fortify Strength and Restore Health. God, the restore health and magic, the effects are very low, aren't they? Frost shield? Nothing wrong with that, 43 points. Two of those and I'm pretty much immune to frost damage, and I should be dealing quite a, a, a fair bit of damage to anything that hits me. I'm not quite sure how much how that works, but deal something. Invisibility. Five seconds, but that's okay. Got all these lightning shield potions which are incorrectly labelled apparently, they just restore my health. Oh well. Ah, that's more like it. Lightning shield and restore health. I must have been making those and then ran out of one ingredient and made the rest. Like that. Uh, paralyze. Poison and paralyze. It's about... Yeah, that's not a bad poison. Same there. That potion of heroism. Resist. Whoa. I just made that to see how strong it would be. That is very powerful. Resist frost 82% for ages. Okay, I should stock up on ingredients which do resist effects because apparently they are powerful. Fortify magic and restore health. That's good in an emergency. 
Same again with fatigue. Health and fatigue. Um, a lot of these I'm going to forget that I have. They're all mislabeled and it's hard to keep track of them all, so, uh, well, I'll do my best. Oh, I need to drink that now, actually, because I have no magic. Okay, that's it. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Some good potions there. Right, now that's all done. Do I have any potions here I'd like to take with me? Nah, I think we'll be okay. Well, might as well take that. <laughs> Paralyze and cure poison. That's the worst poison ever. Yeah, I think that's all good. Let's shut the door. Excuse me. You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Glad to hear it. All right, it's only um 9 a.m., but I'm going to say that took most of the day rather than the split second in game time that actually took. Uh, so I'm going to grab our weapons. Anything else we're taking? I'll take some of our enchanted gear with me. They're all my um, my normal enchanted jewellery. I'll take all that. Oh, I need these. Belial's recall ring and his telepathy amulet. Anything else I need? Take those. Take a skirt, because I might enchant that. They are my boots. I think. Right, I think all my other clothing and stuff is still in Mournhold. I can always pop back if I forget something. Um... I've got so much crap, don't I? And I think all my armor's already there. Yeah, it must be. Should I take a helmet? I must have a helmet there. Um, that's got a pretty high enchanting capacity. Take that. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything I need. We're going to leave in the morning. I act as if this is going to be a massive journey, but it's actually like four teleports, and then I'm back. So it's really not a big deal. Right, so let's stay here until about eight in the morning. So we're going to spend the whole day in the manor doing all that alchemy and just having a day off. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have thought about that. That was a really inefficient level up. I have the intelligence, I suppose. And, um... Hey, it's a good opportunity to put one into luck. And I'll do one in, um... Endurance as well. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Okay, completely fresh level now, so uh, I won't have that awful A level up next time, hopefully. Alright, I've got I've got my swords, haven't I? Yeah. Got my jewellery. I can't wait to get some armour back. 
I need to sort all my hotkeys out as well at some point. Let's save it. Let's save it. Right, let's make our way back to Mournhold. Catch up with Belial. A bit of a grim day. Maybe it's nicer over in the capital. Watch this now, watch the game crash. It's gonna happen. I can feel it. Oh. And we do Elm Zivy. And then we do Divine. This is some cool. Hey, I never cured my Kwama Queen. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I I promised I'd remember to do that. It just, it just struck me now. Oh well. Oh well, it, it'll be alright for another couple of days. Nice crossbow. Right. Asien. Teleport me to Mournhold. Excellent. It's nice to be back. Now let's head over to the manor. Oh no. Well, a couple of things here. Firstly, ebony shields don't seem to work on my game. I tried to fix it last time I came across this problem. Couldn't do it. Don't know why. Um, something's wrong with the ebony shields. Secondly, I know who that is. Silton Elliot doesn't. Should have, should have gone the other way. I always take the other route. I never walk past the temple. But, um, it's been a while since I've been here. Well, shall we, um, let's save it. Let's see what happens. Which way is the, um, ah, no, it's this way. We're going this way. Oh, no dealing with that problem for us today. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. And if any of you don't know who that was, you're better off not knowing. Right, which one is the manor again? This one. Ah, and here we are. Is Belial still here? Good old rat is still here. That's right, yeah, aren't you a good rat? Belial's here. Just being a an ominous, posing as an ominous sorcerer in the manor. Everything looks to be in order. Right, time for me to again go and sort out all of my stuff. Sorry this episode has been a bit stop-starty, hasn't it? But, uh... That's how it goes sometimes. It'll be nice to have everything sorted now, and I'll end the episode soon. We can start next time. Nice clean start back in Mournhold, and get on with our business here. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I guess that'll be it. I could start sorting some stuff out now but won't be very interesting to watch so I'm going to call this episode here next time we will be back in Mournhold and ready to get on with some new uh, get involved in some new intrigue and politics and I don't know who knows what else we'll see anyway thanks for watching see you next time bye bye